hello everyone so in this video i'll be showing you how to set up best vpn router and most reliable routers for the vpn purposes i have connected this router here we have the power cord so the power cord is connected to the power supply and you have different LAN ports here, LAN 4, 3, 2, and there is LAN 1, and this is 2.5G LAN 1. So, uh, whenever I connect a VPN router, I basically use the port, I prefer using the port of 2.5G WAN LAN 1, or WAN port, or 2.5G port. So, this is connected to our source router from which the internet is is actually connected so here I am using the Bell ISP internet service provider so this is this is the modem provided by the ISP and I have connected this to 3 actually uh, in 4 I have connected my other previous router and uh, that is my preferred port because this port 4 is uh, 2.5 G so for the current router i have connected to port 3 so this is the connection of the vpn router in the next few minutes we will be looking at how to set up this router one more thing about this router is that there is a button that has to be turned on over here at the bottom of this router and the reset button is also available at the bottom now this is where the power cord goes and here the yellow wire is connected into 2.5 g and this is connected to the router of the isp internet service provider or the modem of the isp and the second wire which you see the black one it is connected to the 1g port and it is connected to the laptop so for the first time in order to make the setup on the asus router i connect it to my laptop let's get on to the startup of the asus router for the first time as i have shown you i have connected a lan cable from the asus router to my computer and also i am connected to the wi-fi name so this is the wi-fi name that is written on the back of the new router so i am connected to that as well now there are multiple ways of login into the portal of the router one option is 192.168.50.1 so this takes you to the welcome page or the portal of the asus router or you could do one another thing what you need to do is you need to connect to asusrouter.com slash main underscore login dot asp so this is main login dot asp so this takes you to the login page of the asus routers portal okay here you need to create a new network so it is asking you to set up a unique name or ssid to help identify your wireless network so as i have explained in uh, uh, my previous video section this is a tri-band router so that means you can create uh, basically three different bands for this okay i'm gonna select an ssid and type in the password and then another ssid and type in the password and then i can click on apply so here we have two bands which are visible 2.5 4 gigahertz 5 gigahertz 6 gigahertz if you click on separate then you would be able to give one band username and password so this is second band the wi-fi name and password this is the third band wi-fi name and the password and then click on apply now i have selected the username that is ssid of the wi-fi and also the passwords uh in into three separate bands actually each of the band the ssid will be suffixed by underscore of 5g for 5 gigahertz and underscore 6g for the 6 gigahertz and also i wanted to mention that 
but for the first time if you log in onto the uh, portal of the router so basically once you type asusrouter.com slash main underscore login dot asp or 192.168.50.1 it is going to ask you for the username and password and the default username and the default password for the asus router is admin admin so please remember that and uh, that was not recorded so i am just saying that now click on apply to proceed for the first further steps then it is asking you to change the router password to prevent unauthorized access to your asus wireless router this is basically uh, currently set to admin and admin as a default router login name and password i'm gonna select these and get back uh, with the next steps now i have selected the login username and password for the router so click on next uh, this takes you to the next page it is asking us to upgrade the firmware now if you are gonna use this router uh, you would have to upgrade to the latest firmware otherwise there will be some connectivity issues so i'm gonna click on firmware upgrade over here now this is gonna take some time the firmware is upgrading please wait about three minutes it says so let's connect after the firmware upgrade once you have logged in after the firmware upgrade so this is the page that will be shown so actually uh, while i was upgrading the uh, framework of the router uh, the router got logged out then after that i logged into the router so the firmware upgrade was completed then it asked me to uh, sign several agreements so basically when you are signing up for the uh, agreements you need to make sure that you scroll to the bottom and then click on agree so one was user agreement and the second was age agreement that uh, i am of the age of 16 and above so that i can make any customizations so once i have accepted that then i could log into the server once you have logged in into your asus router portal you need to go to the option of vpn if you want to customize the vpn and add a dedicated server to it so click on vpn now in this you need to go to the option of vpn fusion okay and here we are connected to the internet but we want to connect to a dedicated vpn so click on add profile over here then it is going to ask you for the connection name okay so you can just randomly uh, name anything over here okay this is the connection name and then you can select the option of vpn type as open vpn and here it is asking you to import dot ovpn file and it has an option of providing the username and password now after this is done you can basically click on apply and enable now where is this configuration file coming from so this is a configuration file from the server router okay so one of the options that you can do is you can go to nordvpn and purchase a dedicated server or get a server ip address so click on the nord account dedicated ip now here it is going to say download configuration file you need to click on this and then it is asking you to download udp and download tcp so you can download both of them but only one of them which is download tcp configuration file is sufficient and then you need to click on service credential over here to get the username and password from the north side so you need to use that username and password i have already downloaded the uh, configuration files so these are the configuration files i'm going to use the one which is tcp protocol and then i will be entering the username and password after getting it from here so where do i enter these details i'm going to enter those details over here username and here is the password and after that i'll click on apply and enable then we can proceed to the further steps
once you have imported the configuration file and given the username and password and then click on apply this says connected okay so this is activated and connected it also says default connection for example if it does not say default connection if you have multiple uh, profiles to make this one as default you need to scroll down over here and there is a button apply to all devices you need to activate that apply to all devices so actually if you scroll down over here it will show you username and password and then the option of apply to all devices so I am not scrolling down but this is how it is so once you click on apply to all devices it is going to show you default connection so that means all of your internet traffic will be sent to the dedicated server and that is shown over here okay now uh, now if you go to the website such as um, iplocation.io this is going to show you the location of the dedicated server okay so this is going to show you the location of the dedicated server so that's about it this is how to uh, set up your asus router this is also a video about how to customize the open vpn profile and how to connect to a dedicated server ip address and i have showed you the example using nordvpn dedicated server i hope you like this video if you like please subscribe to our channel thank you take care and bye bye in this video i am going to show you one of the routers that can be used as a vpn router so in this video i will be showing you how to set up a vpn router so this is uh, priced at $280 but I have uh, bought this in offer you could buy this uh, during the Black Friday sale and as you can see this is one of the uh, best and most reliable routers uh, for the VPN purposes it is called as ASUS RTAXE7800 this is a Wi-Fi 6E router and it is tri-band so that means I can uh, basically create three different bands of Wi-Fi networks and uh, this is uh, using 1.7 gigahertz quad core CPU for ultra fast network speed and it uses AI mesh and safe browsing and this is also an extendable router it works on Wi-Fi 6e so this is the unboxing and after that we'll proceed with setting up the Wi-Fi network and the VPN network on the router this router uh, looks straight from a sci-fi movie okay it has uh, six different tentacles and ten this is the charger and this is the LAN cable okay oh. 